my name is Juan Morillo, and today I'm going to present to you about my paper about the Republican Party. The chair of the party is Ronald McDaniel, as well as the U.S. House leader. The Senate leader is Mitch McConnell, and the chair of the Governors Association, there was not, no, no chair of the Governors available. <clears throat> its founders, there weren't any specific founders, although I did found um, that it was the, the original founders were the opponents of the Kansas-Nebraska Act, which was the first uh, and the Republican president was Abraham Lincoln. The Whig Party and the Free Soil Party were the, the parties that preceded them. Their motto, uh, I wasn't able to find any official motives for the Republican Party, but um, an old slogan from the party states free soil, free speech, free labor, war, and free men. The mission statement of the party, there's no official mission statement, but uh, the Republican Party does not uh, support lower taxes, free market capitalism, restrictions on immigration, increased military spending, gun rights, etc. Affiliates, uh, some of their affiliates are the Republican National Committee, Alabama Republican Party, Alaska Republican Party, Arizona Republican Party, Republican Party of Arkansas, and etc. Many more states apply to their affiliates. Uh, and of course, the colors of the Republican Party are red. Founding history, uh, the party was basically founded in 1854 uh, by the opponents of the Kansas-Nebraska Act, which supported slavery in, in certain U.S. territories. Under the leadership of Abraham Lincoln, the, the party was able to finally uh, end slavery in the United States. <clears throat> in many events happened during the 20th century for the Republican Party. After 1912, the party underwent a shift from the left to the right, politically. So, uh, this was followed by the Civil Rights Act of 1964 and the Voting Rights Act of 1965, in which the party became more reliable politically on certain southern states. Electoral history. Um, many presidents that have run and won the presidency of the United States have... Uh, have been Republican. These include, but are not limited to, uh, are Abraham Lincoln, Elias S. Grant, Rutherford B. Hayes, James A. Gar Garfield, Chester A. Arthur, Benjamin Harrison, William McKinley, uh, and many other important presidents such as uh, Theodore Roosevelt, um, Franklin Delano Roosevelt, Dwight D. Eisenhower, Nixon, Ford, Bush, and Trump. Uh, offices sought by the Republican Party. Many activists that are Republicans seek office in the, Republic, uh, in the Republican Party. Recent victories. Uh, the Republican Party currently holds the majority in the U.S. House of Representatives, as well as the majority of the state legislatures. Apart from that, uh, right now, the U.S. president is Republican, which is Donald Trump. So the ideology and political positions of the party regard many different aspects. The economic aspect is that economic conservation involves support for lower states, I mean, lower taxes, free market capitalism, deregulation of corporations and restrictions on labor unions. Socially, uh, Republican, many Republicans believe that um, individuals should take responsibility of their own circumstances and whatever you do, uh, you have to pay for what you do. And they also believe that the private sector is the more effective helping the poor instead of the actual government helping the poor. Environmental, the Republican Party considers conservation of the environment um, to be secondary to uh, human needs uh, so like it's not that they they don't think that and the environment is important but they value uh, you know human health and like population health more than protecting our environment 
National Defense, Republicans also believe that a strong military is the key to have a, a strong national defense system. Uh, international pol politics, although many beliefs vary from person to person, overall, Republicans foreign policy views are shaped by the idea that American activity abroad should be directly related to the promotion of American economic, security, and cultural interests. On the student wing, uh, the college Republicans are, and young Republicans as well as teenage Republicans are in the youth wing. So, so my thoughts. Um, what I like about the Republican Party is that like, I like their idea that the United States should have a strong military because I believe that we must be able to stand alone uh, against other nations that want to take like resources that are for the United States and like if we really want to defend those resources we need the we need the, the military power to defend them. Uh, so that's one thing I really like about the Republican Party. I also like that they're really, like, if you see in history, most Republicans are really strong-willed, such as uh, presidents such as FDR and uh, Theodore Roosevelt are were really great presidents, and they they got a lot done for the country. And I think Republicans often have that that focused will. And I really like that about the Republican Party. Uh, what I don't like about the Republican Party, though, is is that they put the environment um, not as a priority of the country. And like, even though I believe that yes, human needs and uh, the welfare of the people is important, I also believe that the environment should be protected at all means, and that um, we must take measures to protect more of our environment and make more reusable energy. <clears throat> what could the party do better? Uh, their chances of winning. I think that as I said, having more support on the environment could bring more uh, supporters to the Republican Party. As right now, they it's not that they don't care about the environment, but like they should give it more of a priority. That as well as easing off on some issues such as the LGBT uh, plus uh, rights, as well as many abortion laws. I think if they ease off a little bit on that, they could bring more support from the people. Um, on my impression, I really like their literature and their slogans on ads, etc. Uh, I think this party has potential and I believe their slogans and models are really catchy and really strong for the population. And I do believe that, like, they they make you think that the Republican Party will do something good for the country. Um, it, for the closing comments, I think that if there is a word for the Republican Party, it's fierce. I do believe that Republicans have that, as I said, that strong will to, like, you know, they want to improve and they want to improve the country. And they they just want to make it better, and I would I really think, and I would really want to think that I would I would be um, likely to vote for a Republican president on the next election.